Platinum LED Biomax 600. And away you go. This particular panel is what I call a body panel. Okay, so we're up to the fun part of the review. You can see straight away the two peaks here. As I move the panel further away, you can see how it does blend. Hey, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com and today I am testing and reviewing the new Platinum LED Biomax 600. Now this is the Gen 2 2021 version of the Biomax 600. I have reviewed the Gen 1 uh, 2018 or 19 panel before, but this is the new and improved version. So I'm very, very excited to test this. Um, I'm gonna be doing a deep, deep dive looking at all aspects of this panel. We're gonna look at power irradiance, we're gonna look at EMF, we're gonna look at sound, um, what wavelengths are emitted, we're gonna look at this uh, the side, the new features of this panel, um, everything. Uh, I've been using this for the last few weeks now, so I'm also gonna incorporate my feedback and, and um, thoughts on using this panel and the benefits I have received from it. Uh, and we're gonna crunch some numbers as well, look at value, price. Um, pretty much I wanna answer any question that you may have about this panel and uh, hopefully, yeah, provide some insight and um, some, some feedback that you wouldn't otherwise get about this panel. Of course, at the end of the day, uh, you can then take all this advice and compare it to other panels or watch other videos and make your own comparisons or um, decide whether it's what you want to spend your money on. And speaking of money, I do have a discount code from Platinum Therapy Lights. Uh, it is Alex, A-L-E-X, that will save you 5%. If for some reason that doesn't work, check the description below in case it has changed. And be sure to subscribe because I will be reviewing a lot more panels. Like seriously, I have so many panels in my office that, um, it's getting ridiculous. First things first, what do you need to know about the Biomax 600? Well, it is produced by a company called Platinum LED Therapy Lights. Bit of a mouthful. Platinum LED Therapy Lights have been around for some time now. I, I think they've been in the LED space for nearly 10 years. Um, originally, they started in the grow lights uh, business and then they moved into the therapeutic red light therapy near infrared um, panels, which is obviously what we have now. I I'm a big fan of their panels. Um, I have done a lot of testing on their previous generation panels and uh, if you have watched my stuff or been involved in the red light therapy space for a while, you would have seen my 2019 comparison series where the Gen 1 version of this panel, the Biomax 600, actually came out on top. Um, they also have tested for really good power, low EMF and really good value as well. So that's why I guess I'm really excited to see how the new Gen 2 version sta uh, stacks up. They also, um, Platinum LED Therapy Lights sell bigger panels, the 900 and smaller tabletop panels. They also do a budget line, which is their bio series, um, which don't have as many bells and whistles as this panel has. Speaking of bells and whistles, I'm going to get into that soon. I'm going to reveal all the changes. I'm going to reveal all the features, um, everything you need to know about this panel. So sit back, relax, and uh, let's get started. First things first though, let's look at the price. So. This particular unit sells for 899 US dollars. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I do have a discount code. It is, it is discount Alex, A-L-E-X. That will save you 5%. So for the sake of this video and all my comparison pieces, I'm going to use the discounted price when I'm doing comparisons and um, value calculations. Just because, I mean, that is the price that you can purchase it for. So remember, Alex will save you 5%. So that brings this panel down to 855 US dollars, which is a good price for a body panel of this size and with these features. Now, as for shipping, you have free USA shipping, which is great, and you have an $80 worldwide shipping rate. I put in uh, addresses in Canada, Australia and the UK and it all came out to be $80. So I don't know if it applies to every single country, but if you're in a main western country then I'm, I'm guessing you'll get that $80 rate. You can head over to Platinum LED Therapy Lights and um, put your address in for a calculated uh, shipping rate anyway. Speaking of shipping you can also go into the shipping page on the Platinum LED website and you can see ETAs for particular units and where you are in the world. So, um, you know, given all the supply cho shocks we're seeing at the moment and also the demand of these new panels, you can go in and see how long it's going to take before this particular unit will arrive at your doorstep. I just did a quick check before filming and if I ordered one of these here in New Zealand, it's only about a one or two week wait. So that's, that's not too bad. So to sum things up, if you're in America and you want to get one of these units shipped to your door, 
$854 is going to be the total amount you'll pay. That includes shipping and it is after the discount code. As for financing, yes, Platinum LED do offer financing. They offer a 0% financing plan. Uh, again, there's going to be terms and conditions, so head to the website to find out more about that. But that is good to know, uh, especially if you do want to get a couple of these or a larger panel, for instance. All right, next up, we look at look and feel and design. So the cool thing is, the Platinum LED box ships with the branding and the logo on the outside box. So as soon as it arrives, you know exactly what it is and who it's from. Some companies just have a blank box and um, it's not until you open it up until you, you realize what it is. I like the fact that that branding is there. It shows it is a little bit more premium uh, and some thought and care and, and time and investment has gone into the packaging, which typically translates to the product as well. So that is a good start. Um, once you open that external box up, you get an internal box, which also has the packaging, and of course you open that up. Nice package case, which obviously has the panel and a few other bits and pieces, which we will look at soon. This particular panel is what I call a body panel. It is 200 LEDs, 36 inches tall, 9 inches wide, and 3 inches deep. Uh, it is, you know, if you look at the Juve Solo as a benchmark for a, for a body panel, uh, this is, you know, similar size, though this has more LEDs than the Juve Solo. We'll talk about comparisons later on in this video. It does have a solid metal case and it has four fans on the back. Power pl the power plugs go into the back here. Pretty um, foolproof. You have one plug for the supplied power cable and another one if you are connecting up multiple devices. You know, you can't stuff that up. And then you have a big bright power switch which glows when it's on. Um, the neat thing about these new panels is you have grips at the top. Which is really cool because this particular panel weighs 22 pounds so they you know there is a bit of weight here uh obviously for me it's no issue but you know if you're getting this for your grandmother or something if you are getting this for your grandmother you should be setting it up for her but if you are if if someone is a little bit frail or, or a little bit weaker or you're getting a bigger unit um it is nice now having those hand grips in there because otherwise you just had to pick them up from the side and you know it just makes life a little bit easier so it is good seeing that uh on the side you will see the open vent and you'll see the platinum LED uh, logo. In the previous generation this was actually etched out just like these holes here so that is a slight change. Uh, I actually like this better with the red logo on here. Um, it's good to see. On the front no real changes you have the same sort of LED layout here. Um, yeah oh one other thing on the back as well is you have these rubber feet for um, protecting your walls if you're leaning against the walls. That is good to see. On the top you have some screws for screwing these metal hanging cables on or um, for connecting this panel to another panel because this is modular expansion supported which is neat. And then lastly we have this side with one of the biggest changes, well the most noticeable change between the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 Biomax series is this touchscreen display. Um, so there's no physical buttons here, it is all touchscreen. Very, very cool, and um, I'll be firing it up soon, and we'll be showing you how that works and what features are built into this particular unit. The Biomax range only come in the white uh, design. I know some other companies now are doing red and, and black and even allowing you to choose which color, which is nice. Um, personally, though, I I like this design. I mean, it's, it's simple. Uh, nothing really has changed from a front-on look compared to the Gen 1 panel. Um, the Gen 1 Biomax panel. But that's not, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It, it doesn't look dated. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, I think it actually looks quite nice. Some people might, might be disappointed, hoping that there was a total refresh, but um, hey, at the end of the day, I mean, it, it, there's nothing wrong with how it looks. And um, yeah, it's not gonna look out of place or anything like that. Some panels out there are quite ugly. You know, they're quite chunky or you know, they don't have necessarily a nice design with the LED layout or they've got a, you know, the controls on the top or on the front and it kind of looks a little bit, um, I don't know, tacky in a way, maybe that's the wrong word. But I can see why Platinum LED didn't worry about overhauling the design because it would have been a lot of work and money and investment to change that when, hey, there's nothing really that needed changing. Obviously the new control panel on the side and the grips on the back, some change has happened from a manufacturing point of view, but um, the big changes I'm told are all internal and um, 
new power outputs. So we're going to test all those soon. Okay, so what's included in the box? Obviously, you get the panel. Uh, you get a quite a nice manual. Um, if you saw my unboxing video, first impressions video of the Biomax 900, you would have noticed that um, the manual, I think, was the older manual because it didn't have instructions for the new panel. This one does have um, instructions for how to use this touchscreen panel, so that is good to see. But yeah, a really informative and nicely printed manual, which is good to see. Um, you have some eye goggles in a little case. You have the door hook, door hanging hook, so that slots on top of the door and you can use the pulleys or the metal hooks. I oh, know you'd have to use the pulleys for this. Let's go over there. Unfortunately though, I can't test it on any of my doors because my doors are too wide for that little gap, which is the same for all of these panels I test. This, it's not a, just a criticism of platinum, it, every panel I get seems to have uh, a door hook that's too thin. You have some cables um, for daisy chaining multiple panels, so if you get a second one and attach it to the top or uh, an extra couple of panels, comes with all the cables for that, which is great, but I won't need that today. Um, you have this pulley system, so that, that allows you to connect these metal um, cables on the top. You can then hang and adjust the panel um, from a hook, so you can adjust the height, you, know, you can have it up nice and high for your for the top half of your body, then you can lower it for the lower, lower half of the body, or if the hook's you know really, really high, maybe it's in the ceiling, you can use this to drop it down to an adequate height, which is good. Um, and then you have the main power cable. Now this is actually, the first thing I noticed about this is the gauge. It's a very thick, heavy duty cable, which is good. It is a very thick cable. It's probably the thickest cable I have seen with any red light therapy panel. So um, that should result in even better EMF levels when we test that soon as well. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it stands up. So that's what you get in the box. Uh, now, what other things can you purchase for the Biomax 600? Well, there's two stands. Firstly, you can get the mobile rack stand, which is for mounting two, four, or six Biomax panels uh, in a you know wall fashion, uh, vertical fashion, sorry. So you can connect any of the Biomax panels. You can connect a 600 with a 300 or a 900. You know, you've got various options there. Um, so why would you do that? Obviously, if you wanted a higher, um, you wanted head to toe coverage, you could get two Biomax 600s, put them on top using the modular designs and the cables that um, I showed you before. You, with this stand, you can also put them two side by side, so you get a wider, or even three side by side, so you get a wider treatment area. You could even go three side by side and three on top, so you'd get a massive um, surface area. So that is cool. That particular stand costs $300. I believe you can still use discount code Alex to save on that as well. Platinum LED also sell their horizontal stand, which is for mounting one or two panels overhead, um, so shining down. So you'd use this if you're you know, a clinician or something, and um, you want, you know, you're treating a patient, whether it's massage or acupuncture, and you want it overhead, or perhaps you are doing, you know, you want to mount them above you. I'm not too sure why you'd do that, but I guess it's more for using it over a treatment, you know, you can have someone lying down and have it shining down on top of them, which is, which is cool. That also sells for $300, and like I said, that's for one or two panels only. The Biomax 600 has a three year warranty, the warranties I've seen in the red light therapy space range from one year, which is typically for the handhelds, right up to five years. I think red light rising has a five year warranty period. Most of them are around the two, three year mark. I think three year is a good, you know, it's a good mark uh, for a warranty period on an electronic device, you know, around that thousand dollar price point. You, you want a good warranty. So that is nice to know that um, Platinum LED do have that three year warranty. They also have a 60 day return um, trial period. So pretty much, you can purchase this, if you're not happy with it, you send it back, uh, no questions asked. Obviously you have to pay freight, return freight, which can be expensive, especially if you live here in New Zealand, you know, freighting this all the way back to America or wherever it has to go is going to add up. Um, secondly, they Platinum LED do have um, a policy where you, they may charge you up to 20% for a restocking fee. I'm assuming what they're doing there is looking at the condition of the panel, looking at the box, what accessories are still there and that, and um, that's how they come up with that figure. And I do know some people have had to pay that, uh, which is, you know, well, they don't necessarily have to pay it, they're just not getting the full amount back. So, you know, there's something to keep in mind. Uh, hopefully, though, with all my content and, and blog articles and uh, these videos, you know, you can 
you can uh, watch watch you can gather a lot of information and um, it'll help you make an informed decision so you don't have to go out and purchase it and trial it and return it uh, but still that that policy is there 60 days um, with a potential 20% restocking fee in regards to set up these are super simple to uh, get up and running you obviously take the panel out of the box you find the one and only power cable plug that into the back plug this into the wall turn the big red power light on, on on the back that glows once it's on you would have hung this up or mounted this on the stand or just lent it against the wall like i'm doing now uh, to get the position you want if you're screwing in these and using the pulley system it's very straightforward so there's no real issues there but once you've done all that you, you'd plug it all in once it's turned on you will see the timer on the side come on the screen on the side you can simply hit on off and away you go so like I said, it is very easy to take it from the box to the wall and get it all plugged in. There's no, um, the, the instructions cover, cover everything, but it is very simple. The cable is two meters long, which is six and a half feet, which I think is a, a good length, adequate length. And like I said before, it is, it is, it is a thick and heavy duty cable. Uh, and you do have the door hanging hook, the pulleys, and um, these cables, as well as the soft rubber feet on the back, so you can lean it directly against the wall. And like I said, if you want to stand, those are optional extras. Okay, so we're up to the fun part of the review. Here we look at power and performance. Now I've got my spectrometer here and I'm going to be testing the uh, power output of these LEDs. Speaking of LEDs, the Biomax 600 has 200 single chip 3 watt LEDs, um, which I believe is the same as the original Gen 1 Biomax 600. However, these the componentry inside has been improved on the Gen 1, which is, which apparently is led to improved power output, and we'll be able to test that very soon. Um, the beam angle on these LEDs is 90 degrees, I believe. I may be wrong on that. I have to double check. I'll put a correction below if I am. And the Biomax range, the Gen 2 Biomax range, continues to use the five wavelengths, which is 630 and 660 in your red light range, and 810, 830, and 850 nanometers in the near infrared range so this is obviously a little bit different to your standard 660 and 850 um, but it is the same as the previous gen 1 biomax all right so the first test what i'm going to do is look at the wavelengths emitted um, so i'm going to fire this up and we'll pull the camera around onto my laptop here and you'll be able to see the um the data that this device is collecting All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test the red light first. So I've disabled the near infrared. Uh, let's start this now. I'll get a couple of readings. You can see straight away the two peaks here. Uh, the main peak is coming in at, it's actually, where are we, 663 six, up the top there. A little bit more than the listed um, 630, but you're still getting a heap of power over here at 660. So it's still a lot of power there. And then when I come over here, about 632 which is yeah like again only one or two points above the listed so the claim numbers were 630 and 660 so pretty much pretty much bang on there all right now we'll test the near infrared all right so i've got the near infrared lights going here and as you'll see the graph actually moves a little bit now there's three wavelengths in the near infrared range here so you can see as i move around well you can't see me moving around but i'm moving the meter around and the um breakdown of wavelengths changes quite a lot so i want to explain that i'll try to get a reading just to see it's, it's a bit tricky because obviously the leds are all spread out in this panel uh and i know not it's not an even spread of power between all the near infrared that's a good one between all the near infrared lights. With this graph here, you can see that yes, there are multiple wavelengths present. So over here, we're bang on 810. So that lines, it lines with um, Platinum's claims. They say 810, 830, 850. So yep, there's definitely a peak there. Uh, the other one is 830, which is there. So I mean, power-wise, you're getting the same amount of power as the 810. And then the final reading was 850, which is yep, bang on up there. But what's interesting, as I moved around, it, it wasn't, you weren't always seeing the same pattern. Uh, and that's because the LEDs 
Well, no, sorry. I know for a fact that there's more power going to the 850 than the 810, or at least that was true for the Gen 1, and it appears to be the case here as well. But as I moved around, every now and then, I'd actually see a relatively higher peak in the 810 to the 850, and that means I'd I'd come across a, an LED that was emitting the 810. So it is a bit tricky um, to get an even spread, like one snapshot that shows the total power output uh, across different wavelengths. But the main thing I wanted to show is, yes, there are three wavelengths admitted here. Well, the thing is, you're actually getting power all the way here from, what, 780 right across to, what's that, probably high 800s. I mean, you're getting a ton of radiance through that whole spectrum. It's not These aren't lasers where you just get one spike at a particular wavelength, which is good because you are getting power across all these other wavelengths as well. But yeah, uh, there are definitely peaks in the, in the wavelengths listed. Um, but I did also want to show that if you're standing in front of this panel, it's not like every part of the body is getting the same balance of wavelengths, you know, irradiance at different wavelengths. And that's not just the case for platinum, that's true for any panel. Unless every single LED had exactly like the, exactly the same chip, you're not going to get an even spread. So that's just, you know, that's why um, quantifying red light therapy in terms of how, how long you should use it and all that is so tricky. Uh, and most of the studies are done using like lasers and, and very precise um, treatment. Uh, protocols and equipment. Now we're going to test peak power at the center of this panel. We're going to test it across uh, the red light spectrum and then the near infrared. But before we do that, I want to test the overall peak power and compare that to the Gen 1 Biomax. So I pulled up my data. The Gen 1 Biomax had a peak power of 66 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So just re just remember 66. That was um, the highest reading I found as I moved the uh, the meter across the front of the panel. All right, straight away, we're up to 74, 78, 82, 92, 86. So there's definitely a lot more power, 82, a lot more power here. Um, that 92 was quite a big peak though. Yeah, wow, that was, as soon as I had it going, like I wasn't even in front of the whole panel and I was already in the 60s, so yes, the Biomax Generation 2 2021 version is a lot more powerful, way more powerful. Like that's, you know, 40, 50% more powerful. So um, I was getting lots of 80s, oh, 70, high 70s into the 80s, and then you'd get the occasional spike into 92. So 92.8 or 92.9 was the highest reading I saw. So you're looking at that EE line where it says 92.89, uh, just over here. Sorry, this is hard to see. Um, so that was peak power and the peak wavelength there is 853 uh, and you can see the breakdown there so you've got power in both the red and the near infrared so ma massive peaks there I mean there's no wasted power here there's none coming in you know like uh, too low or too high here uh, so that's that's huge that's for a six inch reading um, 92.89 that is by far the highest uh, panel. I've tested to date. I mean, I haven't tested the power on a lot of these new panels. I will be. So, so now what I want to do is test the peak power for red light and then narrow for it. So I'll do the same thing again. I'll just read out the readings. Try um, pause it at one of the peaks and show you on screen. And I'll read out what I see. 42s, 47, 43s. I'll read out if the number goes higher. 49, 51.9. I think that's going to be as good as we get. All right, so 51.9 was the highest reading I got. Cool, there we go. Remember, you're looking at that EE, the MW over centimeter squared, 55.6 on this one, and you can see the light there in the red light. Okay, well, let's do the same again for near infrared. All right, 31, 36, 39, 41, 49, 50. So I'm seeing ranges from high 30s into the 40s, into 50s. That's a lot of red light. Uh, so that's peaking at your yeah, 850, yeah, 62.3. That's, um, yeah, these numbers are quite amazing, really. So there you go, uh, 62.4, and that's peaking at 853.7 nanometers. Definitely a lot more power going on in these Platinum Biomax Generation 2 panels, uh, quite amazing. One thing though, like, and you may have picked up on this as I was moving around, I was just saying the highest number I saw, but there was quite a bit of fluctuation, and that is going to happen 
with a panel that doesn't have an even spread of LEDs uh, emitting the same wavelengths. So for instance, uh, I'm just making this up here, but you know, this panel here could be your 660, this one could be your 630, this one could be 810, this one 830, 850, right? So each line is going to be different, um, more power is going to your, your 660 and 850s compared to the other one. So that's why as I move around, you're seeing different um, wavelength graphs and also different numbers because, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just how it works. So uh, what these peaks show, though, is not necessarily a true representation of the overall uh, irradiance from a panel. It's, it's very hard to do that, um, but people want to know what the peaks are, and it's, hey, it's fun. I mean, you can see that absolute, the absolute highest peak. So that's why I've done that. What I want to do next, though, is show the estimated total power output. So what I do here is I measure nine points for total irradiance for across both spectrums. Nine points. Uh, I then average them out, and then I um, multiply that by the area of the LEDs to get a total power output in watts. And we can use that figure to then calculate, you know, price per watts, and then uh, compare it to other panels, for instance. 66, 63, 65. I've got my nine readings, and this is where I took the readings. Uh, if this is the outside LEDs, I come in one and try to get a reading in front of that. So I do six in the corner, uh, six around the edges and three in the middle. Now what you'll notice though is all these figures are well below the peak power, peak overall of 92, 93. Um, so I just take a snapshot, I just go there, the first number I see, well I let it settle and then I just take the reading. When I was looking for that peak the, in the 92, 93, I'm moving around trying to find the absolute highest number I could find. All right, so let's um, average these out. So we get an average of 71 point. So after crunching the numbers, getting the average irradiance and then applying that to the um, surface area, or the LED surface area, I get a result of 101.2 watts. Uh, so that's the total output output coming from this panel, uh, which is, you know, it's a, it's a big number. Um, and I remember this is just an estimated, estimated guess. Well, no, it's not an estimated guess. There are, there's a bit of math and, and calculation involved, but, um, you know, it's not super accurate and it's not scientific as such in the sense that everything's done precise. But it gives you a good indication as to what power is coming from this panel and be, being able to compare it to other panels. So now that we know that, we can look at a couple other things. So first thing is the hotspot test and then the next thing is the wattage draw. Actually, let's do the wattage draw first. So for the wattage draw, I have a power meter here. I'm gonna plug this into the panel and see how much um, watts the unit is drawing. All right, that is done. So for the red light, I had a watt, wattage draw of 371 watts. For the near infrared, 270, and a total wattage draw of 627 watts. Okay, next up I wanna look at the hotspot. So I set the panel up six inches from the wall, and I'm gonna turn it on, have both the near infrared and the red light running. Now, what you can see is the concentration of light on the um, on the wall here, which would be your body, right? So you can see the different colors here, and this is what I'm saying. Obviously, we can only see the red light; we can't see the near infrared light. But the red light will give a good indication of how the LEDs work. So you can see these different colors here. These will be the six. What was it? Six thirty, I believe it was. And then the other red will be the six sixty. And you can see how there's more power, more energy going to the six sixty. And this is what I was saying before. Like you can stand in front of this panel, but this particular area here is only getting 660 plus whatever near infrared light. I mean, yes, you're going to be getting a little bit of um, 610 or 630, whatever it was, uh, but not not what you're getting right there. And that is the downside with panels, not just with the platinum one, but um, all red light therapy panels. Now, um, the reason why I've included this is to comp I'm going to do this test for all the panels I review going forward, and it will it will be interesting to compare how this looks compared to other panels. Because ideally, if it was well engineered. I don't even know if it's possible, but in an ideal situation, what you'd see is a nice blend of red. You wouldn't see these hot spots. As I move the panel further away, you can see how it does blend. Now, with this power, this increased power in this panel, um, you can easily stand a foot 
away from the panel. If you're wondering if this particular unit has the pulsing feature, feature, no, it doesn't. All right, so there's no pulsing in the Biomax range. Uh, only Juve and Lightpath LED use pulsing at the time of videoing. Um, but now that we've got all that data, we can work out some values. We can work out some math. So the price per LED here, using the discounted price um, per LED, you're paying four dollars thirty-seven um, per LED. More importantly, though, the price per total watt is um, is quite a useful figure because you can compare how uh, how much power you're getting per dollar, right? So I just did the math based on, based on the 101 wattage. So I just did the math and it comes out to $8.45, $8.45 per watt that you're buying, uh, that you're getting with this particular panel. Now the only other panel that I've done this calculation for to date is the light path panel. And I think dollar per LED figure was pretty much the same as the Biomax 600. I think it was $4.30, but the dollar per total watt output was a lot more expensive, well not a lot more expensive, it was more expensive, it was like $9.30. Right. So that figure is implying is you're getting better value, just purely from an estimated wattage output, you're getting better value with the Biomax 600. All right, so EMF, I've got my Cornet Electrosmog meter, I'll put a link to this below um, if you want to get one. Now this tests microwave, electric and magnetic fields. I'm going to test the microwave first at 6 inches, then the magnetic, then the electric. Um, all right, so. So first up for uh, the magnetic, there is no change compared to the background noise, so that is good, and that's not um, surprising because this doesn't have Wi-Fi or anything built in. Next, we're going to look at the uh, magnetic. So there was a very tiny movement, uh, but we're still well and truly in the green zone. It was a 0 0.09 uh, micro Tesla. All right, and then lastly, we will look at magnet uh, electric fields. And there was no change there, absolutely no change from baseline um, as I turned it on and the numbers were rock bottom in the green zone here. So that is all very, very good. Um, so yeah, I mean, from the EMF point of view, I don't have the previous generation EMF numbers on me, but I know it was really good. This is the same. I mean, it's great. There's no concern at six inches. In fact, uh, I wouldn't be surprised even as you get closer. Um, there'd be pretty much minimal EMF exposure at all uh, altogether. So very, very good numbers there on the EMF front. So next up, we're going to look at sound level. Again, this will be at six inches and I've got a decibel meter here. It was at about 52, but it dropped down just as I hit hold there, 51.8. So I'm going to call it 52 decibels. So that was safety. Actually, one last thing in safety. This is an FDA class two medical device and made in an FDA registered facility. So that is good to know if you are into, um, you know, wanting FDA approval. Here we have a big screen, a big OLED touch screen. Now, if I show you this, it's all touch screen, right? And it's quite easy to use. I was playing around with it just before and, um, you need to go into timer, select your predefined time, hit run, where you go, um, all that cool stuff. But the real magic, the real magic is here. So I can go into custom mode. Now look at this. I can change the intensity or the amount of power that goes to each wavelength. So if I want 100% red and only 10% infrared, I can do that. Or I want 50% near infrared and 50% red light, I can do that. So that is very, very cool and it's very easy to use. Just using your fingers on quite a, you know, it's a simple control panel. It's not overly complex or anything like that. So that is a massive change, of course, uh, to the old panel over here. So very, very cool. I do like that feature. Um, the main thing is they haven't overcomplicated it. Uh, they've just kept the basic fun functions in there. All the buttons are, are work really good, work really simply as well. So that is really cool. As for how fast you can get this up and running, I mean, it's super easy and super quick. You literally turn the back power switch on, hit on and off, and it will start working. I mean, it is super, super simple. Uh, if you want more advanced controls like custom time and custom um, power level, again, turn the power uh, on at the back, custom mode, Change the intensity, 
hit OK and away you go. It's it's a couple of clicks and anyone should be able to figure that out. It's it's pretty foolproof. Uh, so I do like the new control panel. It is, I mean the functions are quite neat as well, but it is nice, you know, it's something different. We haven't seen this before in red light therapy panels. Um, typically they were, or well, originally they were big chunky switches like we see on the back and you just turn that on. Then it came uh, the little LCD screen with the buttons for red and, and near infrared and then the timer built in. Um, but now we see this really cool uh, inbuilt screen. I know some other units have Bluetooth connectivity and you can do it through the app. Personally though, I'm not a fan of that. I, I'd rather have it all on here. So I think Platinum have done a really good job with this little LCD screen built in uh, and with the options to change the power levels as well. Okay, so we are coming up towards the end of this uh, review. I wanted to share now with my thoughts and my feedback after using this panel for a few weeks. I've got my notes here. Uh, what do I, what have I got? I do like the control panel. It is nice. I like the ability to change the power levels and the ratios. That is cool. Um, personally, I use 100% for both those. So um, it is nice to have that. And I know some people really like it. I typically just leave them all on though. The ability to drop it right down to 1% and use it for lighting up a room in the evening though is pretty cool. That is something that I have done before, but I hate having full power going into it, so that is neat. I did like the Gen 1 Biomax, and that was my go-to panel over the last few years for health and recovery and all the good things that red light therapy offers. I, and I really do think the extra wavelengths that are in the Biomax series, including this one, are beneficial as well. So I do like that that's still here in the new generation Biomax panel. Um, of course, this one is the same but better. I mean, it's just got more power coming out and obviously a nice control panel. And I think the MF levels might be lower as well. So yes, I would be, I will be using this panel over the other ones, but um, they're both gonna do the job. Knowing that the power is higher means that you can stand further from the panel and get the same dose or stand the same distance and get uh, and use it for less time. So that is cool as well. And uh, finally, the handles on the back are nice. It just, just makes things, makes life a little bit easier when you're moving it around or, or setting it up. So now that we've gone through all this, you might be thinking, okay, cool, should I buy this, should I not? Well, before I give my overall summary, I do want to run up through a few alternative pro products that you could buy instead of this. First, I want to look at other platinum LED therapy panels uh, that you could look at instead of this Biomax 600. First one is the Biomax 900. This is the, the bigger brother. It's $250 more and for that price you're getting 100 more LEDs and that comes in a wider panel. It's the same height but it's, it's a lot wider. For that $200 extra, it does mean the price per LED does come down, so you're getting more value. Uh, and I would assume, well, yeah, it is the same technology. I'm assuming the power is the same, might even be a little bit higher. Um, so when you do all the numbers, you're probably getting a lot more bang for your buck. Plus that treatment area is a lot wider. Back in 2019, the Biomax 600 was what I used in the in my comparison series, in my body comparison series, and it did come out number one. Afterwards though, I did a comparison between the Biomax 600 and the Biomax 900, and I said, look, the Biomax 900 is the better panel. I'll put a link to that below. You can go and watch that um, comparison if you want to. I think it'd be the same again with the 600 and the 900, the 900 being just the better buy. Uh, of course, if you're tight on money, then yeah, you may not want to spend that extra 200 bucks and, and settle on the 600. You're still getting a very good panel, a very good high powered, low EMF, uh, multi-wave panel. And this year for the 2021 comparison, I will be using the 900 instead of the 600. So be sure to subscribe to see that. Alternatively, alternatively though, Platinum do have a budget bio series and that is the bio 600. That is $200 cheaper than this panel, but it only comes with two wavelengths, the 660 and the 850. Simpler controls, less power, doesn't have the modular support, uh, doesn't have stand support. So you could, one could argue that this Biomax 600 is really unnecessary in the Platinum LED product range. If you're looking to save money, you get the Bio 600. If you want a good valued, high powered, high packed, uh, high feature packed panel, you get the Biomax. 900 but the fact that platinum offer it is nice because it does give people options and people do like options personally though i think um if you're on a tight budget really tight budget uh you know maybe get the bio 600 um but otherwise really try and stretch for this or the biomax 900. what about competitors products well mito red and juve would probably be the two main rivals to this biomax 600. um the juve because they are the main red lights therapy player in the game and Mito Red because of how similar they are to Platinum LED. So 
Let's look at the Juve Solo panel first. So the Juve Solo is $500 more than this Biomax 600, but you get less LEDs and you only get two wavelengths as well, 660 and 850. With the Juve, you get a whole new design, you get all the marketing and branding um, and status that comes with owning a Juve, I guess. Uh, I haven't tested the power and the EMF on that unit yet, but I would, I would guess that it's going to be a decent high power. Whether it's the same as this, I don't know. We'll have to stay tuned because I will find out. Um, it, the Juve also does that, does have that pulsing recovery mode. Again, though, there's a lot of bit of controversy around that as as to whether it's a gimmick or not. But hey, some people like that. Still though, five hundred dollars more for a smaller unit that only has two wavelengths. I don't know. I, I would still recommend the Biomax. As for the Mito Red, they have got a few potential competitors because they've got their base Mito range, they've got their Mito Mod range, and then the Mito Pro range. Their Mito Mod 900 is probably the direct competitor. It is uh, only 180 LEDs compared to the 200 um, that the Biomax has, and it only has the 660 and 850, but it is a couple hundred dollars cheaper. You can look at the bigger Mito Mod, oh, so Mito Pro 1500, but that is a bigger panel, which is probably more of a competitor with the Biomax 900. Finally, we could throw in the lesser known LightPath LED panel, and I have reviewed this uh, on my channel, so I'll put a link to that below. It's quite interesting because um, it's similar price to the Biomax 600. It's only like $20 more expensive. It also comes with five wavelengths, such as the Biomax, though the wavelengths are a little bit different. I think you get up into the 900s with the light, light path LED panel. And you do get some neat features like a, follow-up call and stuff. It is a new up-and-coming company, so it's a little bit different. Though the downside with that panel is I hate the control panel. It's just so frustrating. And just check out my review and you'll see what I mean. All my first impressions. It, it drives me nuts. So with Platinum LED, you're getting a company that's been around for a long time. You're getting a really nice to use control panel. And uh, I believe the power, yes, the power was much higher in this compared to the light path as well. So probably better off just sticking with Biomax over light path LED. But all right, so in conclusion, what do I like about the Biomax 600? Well, I do like the new touchscreen panel. I think that is really cool. It makes it easy to use. I do like the fact that the power is way higher and it was already, I think it was the most, uh, the highest powered panel I've tested, uh, or maybe the second one, I can't remember exactly, but it's gone up even again. So that is massive. The EMF levels are great. Um, design wise, Hey, look, I like it. Sure, some people might be a bit disappointed there's nothing new, but I mean, these are panels, red light therapy panels, not cars or, I don't know, phones. So uh, you can't really critique that. Uh, again, I like it though. You get all the same great features that were included in the Gen 1 Biomax, like the multi-wavelength and um, the three-year warranty and, and all those good things. What I don't like, uh, the hotspots may be an issue for some, you know, knowing that you, you're not getting an even blend, but you could argue that the increased power means you can stand further away and uh, you are getting a nice blend and you're still getting that good irradiance. And some people still are a bit hesitant to go with Platinum because of the, the bad six months or 12 months they had on the support side. And again, that was, and again, it wasn't every single auto, it was just the odd auto, but it only takes one or two people to, to put some stuff online and, you know, that gets picked up. But I know some people are still hesitant about that, but uh, hey, like the recent comments I've seen come through in the last six months or so uh, um, have not been like that at all. And now that uh, Platinum are aware of it, they're putting more time and energy into the support team. So I don't think it'll be an issue going forward. So overall, what do I think? Well, I like it. I mean, it's an improvement on the best panel from 2019. So how can you not like it? I mean, it, it's a great panel. There's more power, EMF levels are great. The new touchscreen is awesome. Uh, though you probably, I still think that the Biomax 900 is a better buy, just from a value point of view. So I would say stretch the credit card and spend a few dollars extra and, and get the 900 if you can afford it. But even then, you're not getting the multi-wavelengths that the Biomax has. If you do want to buy one of these panels, head over to Platinum LED Therapy Lights or PlatinumLEDLights.com uh, and use discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, and it will save you 5% on their whole entire product range, not just this panel. Um, and if you did like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment below. If you want me to do this for more panels, please let me know as well because um, a lot of work and time goes into this. I, I have to test it, I have to research it and get all the facts. Um, doing the testing today. Uh, you know, I need a couple weeks for each panel, so I don't want to do it if no one enjoys them. If you are enjoying them and you want, want me to do it with other videos, uh, sorry, with other panels, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll, I'll go do something else with my time. Otherwise, if you've got any questions, if there's something you want to know about this panel and I haven't tested it or you just want my thoughts on it, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. All right, guys, uh, I'll see you later.